Take the next right onto South Christopher Columbus Boulevard. Beautiful mommy. And today I'm going to give you some insights about my trip to Mermagicon. Mermagicon is an amazing convention that happens in Manassas, Virginia once a year. And I finally got to attend after years of wanting to go. It was a very spontaneous decision. I decided I was going to go the day before the last day. And it was an amazing time. but. I'm gonna share with you some of the things I learned and some of the things I regret. So the first lesson I learned is to talk to more people. I kind of regret that I was a little shy. I didn't talk to as many people as I could have. I, I wish I had done a little more networking, you know, make some friends, get some new followers and subscribers. Not that that was all that mattered, but it would be nice. But there were just so many people and I was all by myself and I have a little bit of social anxiety. I mean, I, I'm sure we all have a little bit. Okay, me, okay, I might have a lot of it, <laughs> but I did my best. So, you know, I just, I just gotta remember, I, I did make at least one friend and I did have at least one fan come up to me to tell me they love my content and that's enough for me. But yeah, next time I go, I am gonna try to talk to more people. And the next thing, kind of similar, I wish I had taken more photos with people and also more photos in my tail. I took a lot of videos, a lot of vlog footage of, of me with other people having them say hello, but I didn't really get any photos with people and, you know, I barely took any photos in my tail. So that's a little disappointing that I that I didn't do that. Oh, and also, don't forget to check out the vlog from Mermagicon and then you can see exactly what Mermagicon was like. The next lesson that I learned slash regret is have your devices charged and, and have reliable sources for charging your devices. Now I had two phone chargers with me, but neither of them worked. After a long drive, my phone was a little bit low on battery and taking videos also makes your phone low on battery. So yes, that is one thing that I learned. And then also related to that is that I didn't have my underwater camera charged I was such a bummer because I really wanted to get magical underwater footage and I couldn't. You know, I charged it a little bit, but I guess it wasn't enough or maybe it just doesn't work anymore. I don't know. The next thing I learned is to always eat a big meal before any event. Now they normally have food vendors there, but for some reason they weren't able to make it. So they didn't really have any food. All I had was like a protein drink and some snacks and that really wasn't enough. So. After a couple hours, I started to get a little hangry and a little exhausted, especially after going swimming. And I had some snacks in my car, but snacks do not suffice when it comes to satisfying your hunger. So that wasn't great. So yeah, next time I have a thing, I'm gonna eat a big meal and I'm gonna bring more food than I brought. Next thing that I regret is that I didn't really plan ahead. I didn't get my tickets ahead of time. So I paid the full price of the ticket, but I only got to do one day of it. So it was still worth it, but it would have been great if I had, you know, gotten them ahead of time and then gone sooner. Also, if I had planned ahead and decided to go sooner, then I could have given my boyfriend time to prepare and maybe he would have been able to make it. It was too last minute and it just didn't work out for him to come. But now I kind of wish that I had brought him. I kind of told him I wanted to go by myself because I didn't think he would be into it but now I wish I had brought him. I think it would have been a little bit more fun and I think he would have enjoyed seeing how excited I would get at everything and it would have been someone to keep me company in between the moments where I'm not talking to other mermaids. So yes, that is another thing that I learned. And then, and this is kind of embarrassing, I, I learned that you should frequently check your reflection, 
especially after you eat something. So at one point, as I mentioned, I got really hungry. I chugged another protein drink in my car. I didn't realize it, but I had like a big milk mustache, a crusty milk mustache. And I had a conversation close with a lady. And then when I went to the bathroom, I was like, what is that? And yeah, I was like, oh no, <laughs> awkward. The last thing that I learned is that I'm very neurodivergent. Like I'm aware that I get sensory overload, but I didn't realize how bad it was until I was surrounded by people and I was tired and hungry and it was loud. I started to feel very uncomfortable. And I think in that moment, it might've been nice to have like noise canceling headphones. And I find pretty often that noises stress me out. So I think I would like to get some noise canceling headphones. I think that would be good for me. So overall, it was a really great experience. And these are just some lessons I learned that I can carry on for the next time I go or the next time I have any kind of mermaid event. And I hope there will be more mermaid events for me to go to because I had a great time and I love mingling with mermaids and mermen and merfolk. So thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and have a magical day. Bye bye.